Hi, my name is Chantel and I'm 20 years old. I met this guy Romeo and he's 22 years old. We met in chemistry class and we instantly hit it off. We both had a love for science. So recently this year, the new Jeffrey Dahmer film came out, obviously, as you know, and it is trending pretty much as one of the best shows in Netflix right now. So when my boyfriend heard about this, at first he was like a little hesitant to watch, but then he was like, okay, let's give it a go. And throughout the film, he absolutely loved it, but I think he loved it a little too much. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, this made me like pretty uncomfortable. It's not the fact that he loved the film so much, because don't get me wrong, Evan Peters is an amazing actor, and if he doesn't get a reward for this, I'm gonna go live it. However, it's the fact that my boyfriend didn't sit here and flinch to the show, like, at all whatsoever. Like, there would be really disturbing scenes, and he just would sit there, like, and do absolutely nothing, and this is pretty much what had disturbed me. I was cut up with my boyfriend, but, like, seeing this behavior, because, again, I was, like, really unsettling, I kind of wanted to get up, but I didn't get up in that moment. So we kept watching the film, whatever, and I kid you not, like, in the middle of the film, he said, honestly, this character is, like, pretty complex and interesting. Huh? It's almost captivating. I instantly stood up and just stared at him. And I could not believe that he'd said that. I just didn't understand what could be so interesting and captivating about a mentally ill guy not only breaking apart and literally killing animals, doing the same thing to humans as well. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, this looks crazy. But just give me a chance. I'll make it up, I swear. This eyeshadow look looks crazy, but just trust the process. Okay, but like, the eyeliner? Burr! I told you I trust the process. So as we were finishing up the series, I pretty much cried to everything. The guy that was deaf, that story? Yeah. I just felt so bad for the family. I felt bad for the guy. And I really hated Jeffrey Dahmer after this. However, my boyfriend literally sat here and had the nerve to say it was entertaining and enjoyable. I thought that that was absolutely insane. Like, there was absolutely no way that he just said that. Like, what am I gonna lie? I started looking at him differently after this. I talked to my best friend about it and she said a huge weird red flag that she noticed was like him not having empathy for the people that were killed and having more empathy for Jeffrey Dahmer than the victims. That was like the first red flag that she noticed and I agreed. <laughs> like, why would it? What's not clicking? So yeah, I didn't really know what to do at this point. I was like, honestly, I could break up with him or I could talk to him about it because you know, honestly, people handle things in different ways, as weird as it sounds for this instance, and maybe he, his thought process just wasn't there. Maybe he was in too much of shock and trying to keep it cool for me, and that's why he reacted the way he did. So I decided to go home and talk to him. And I kid you not, I looked at his computer screen. I literally saw him, like, Googling Jeffrey Dahmer. And I'm talking about, like, there was a good five tabs open, and he was just, like, at the computer screen. Like, he was just staring. No life, no soul, nothing. He was literally just staring at the computer screen. And obviously this was very unsettling for me. So I was like, hey babe, like, everything okay? And I took him by surprise. I, I took him by surprise. And he's just like, hey babe, like, where have you been all day? And I was like, oh, I was with my best friend. Like, what are you, what have you been doing all day? That's quite a lot of tabs of uh, Jeffrey Dahmer that you got open. And he's just like, oh, like, honestly, I'm just, like, looking him up because his psychological background, like, really interests me. Again, like, it was captivating and stuff. Not in an idolizing way. I just wanted to clarify that to you, but, like, you know, it was interesting. What? Fortunately, I don't have orange powder blush, so I'm not big with this. And I'm kind of disappointed with that. My main thing is I found it pretty weird how he legit just still was not empathizing the victims or their parents. Like, I'm talking about he was watching their court case. Like, when Jeffrey Dahmer's victims had first spoken to him, not victims, but the, the relatives of the victims, whether it was, like, their mother, sister, all that jazz, like, he did not find any kind of empathy for them. Which, I still don't understand why he wasn't finding empathy. Like, what, what do you, you know what I mean? So, then my girlfriend had sat here. That's what the viewer is saying, by the way. I, I don't know. I guess they're old school. So, my girlfriend had sat here and texted me. And she was like, hey, girl, like, you want to go on a vacation? I'm like, honestly, like, yeah. Like, I need it because if not, I'm going to go insane. Honestly, like, I wanted to talk to him about it at first. But right now, like, I'm just not in the right mindset to. So maybe, like, when I come back, everything will be fine. And then I could talk to him about it. And then he'd be like, oh, yeah, you're right. You know, I just wanted to give him some time. So after that, we went to New York City because it's, like, right there. We live, like, right next to New York City. And uh, we ended up staying out there for, like, a couple of days. 
during New York Fashion Week and we actually went to go see the models and stuff. It was a really fun and good time. So on Amazon, I usually get notifications of whenever I or my boyfriend orders something. And for whatever reason, he was ordering like a lot of chemicals and like seven pounds of bleach. And it was like $70. And I was like, so I texted him. And I'm like, hey, babe, like, why are you ordering like 70 pounds of bleach? Like, you know what I mean? And he's like, oh, like, honestly, I'm just using it for a project. And honestly, like, the house is like really dirty and stuff. So I used a couple of coupons and I got it at a discount for us. And I'm like, okay, but we're trying to save money. And he's like, honestly, like, the bleach could have been for 150 but I got it for 70 instead. Which was a steal. I was in a pound. So I was like, oh, okay. And I just left it alone. And this mascara sucks. Don't ever use it like that thing. I beg of you. I'm gonna go with this Choco Brown because I don't know I'm just feeling it. So after I came back home, I was like, okay. Like, he just bought it for the purpose of cleaning. Nothing wrong with that, right? The problem is, I couldn't find the cleaning products anywhere. Where are the cleaning products? I decided to do a little digging. My huge mistake. And I looked under the bed. Kid you not, I literally found three jars of whatever in it. I didn't know what it was. I found three jars of things that used to be living, deteriorating inside of the jar. And I literally found bones, like a whole box of bones under his bed. I, I had to get out of here. I had to go. I had to leave. I could not stay. So this is when I was like planning my breakup with him or whatever. So I had just pretended that I was gay. Call me a bad person, but I just pretended that I was gay. And I was like, hey, like Romeo, I can't really do this anymore. Um, I just, I can't keep faking it. You know, recently I just found out and I didn't want to leave you. But I'm gay. So if I, I'm not attracted to you and I never will be. And he was really understanding about it, really accepting. He was like, we can always stay friends. And I was like, yeah, sure. So then I had kept looking for a place and I finally found a place and I dipped and got out of there. And then I blocked him on everything. And that's what happened.